Hello and welcome from the moron who's just recorded an entire video forgetting to turn the camera on. Hello and welcome to Writerly Witterings. I'll try that again. And today I'm talking a lot about notebooks. Don't forget, if you like this, hit the like and subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified of future videos and comments down the bottom and tell everybody you like it. That's good. These two are coming out. This is soon going to be on your bookshelves if you want to buy a copy. It's the latest version of the first book I wrote back in 1994 and Canelo are reprinting so that you can buy an actual paperback yet again of my first book. And isn't it pretty? And The Moorland Murderers is now out as a paperback as well. It's even better, isn't it? Plus, I'm very glad to say I'm just signing a new contract with Severn House, who publish the Black Jack, Jack Black Jack series, the Bloody Mary series. Much easier to say Bloody Mary. They publish them and they're signing me up to write another book a year, which is going to be a modern day crime series. So that's very exciting, but not as exciting as looking at notebooks. I love notebooks of all types. I love the William Hannas because they're really practical. I can take it around with me. I can tear pages out and then reinsert them because it's clever and they're wonderful. I also make a lot of use of notepads because I can use these, tear pages out, and I don't have to keep them because they're disposable. They're great. But what I really like is Leuchtturm because Leuchtturm have got some basic essentials. They've got a strap to keep it closed when you're out and about. A front page where you can put things like your name and a reward. They have a chapters page. They have lots and lots of pages and all of them have page numbers and a place where you can put the date at the top. And the paper is damn good for writing with fountain pens. So I love Leuchtturms. In fact, I love A5 notebooks. I've got, one, two, three, four, got about five down there and I've got another seven or eight up there. Because notebooks, as Agatha Christie used to find, are very handy. You make notes about books and just the fact of writing things down means that it fixes it in your brain slightly. Agatha Christie was not the most organised of people. She had, when she died, they discovered at least 70 notebooks that she had knocking around. And it was weird how she worked because she had write a few pages of notes and then the next notes she wrote were in a totally different notebook. So there was no rational plan about which notebook she used. She grabbed the one that was nearest. And often she had grabbed the page that was nearest. So she would leave for a gap of five pages and start writing. And then later she might go back and fill in the gap with her latest book. So for the poor devil, John Curran, who tried to go through and make sense of all these, it, it well, the poor devil, it created two very fat books for him. But... A5 isn't always enough. Sometimes you need a larger one. This has been my Bible for quite some time. It's lovely. It's A4 and it's a paper for fountain pens notebook, which has no bells or whistles. It has a hard cover. It opens flat. It has plain paper. There is no chapters page, no opening page where you can write a reward and things. There's no page numbering. It has nothing really, but it's great and I love it. And I've been petrified of what I'm going to do when it gets full. And I'm petrified no longer because I've discovered an Odyssey notebook, which is even better. OK, so why would it be better than the paper for fountain pens notebook? I'll tell you why. For one thing, I think it's really rather beautiful. It's got this imitation leather sort of cover, which feels good in the hand. It's, it could get a little bit slippery when it's hot weather, I'd imagine, but it still feels quite good. It has a closure, a nice elastic closure. I think the appearance, I, I really like this colour, I think the appearance with the world map and on the back it's got gold blocking Odyssey notebooks, 
I think that works really well. I really like the fact that it has got a front page slightly harder, which gives you a chance of writing your name and address and a reward in. I like the fact it's got this different, um, what do you call it, contrasting inner surface. And at the back, not only has it got a contrasting inner surface, it's also got an envelope, a wallet section, so you can keep things. What else has it got? Well, this is just a dot grid, but it has got page numbering. And I like page numbering because it means you can organise your work that little bit more efficiently. The other thing it's got is bookmarks, which are, I think, pretty much bally essential. Two bookmarks, which makes it very, very useful and very practical. Now, I do like the fact that it's B5, not A5. Why? Well, it is a little bit smaller. Look at that. Very little in it. But it feels really good. It's a slightly more practical size to carry around, I think, personally. It is only a personal thing. In terms of other stuff, does it open flat? Yep, it opens very well. The binding seems to be particularly strong. I'm very impressed with that. And I have tried writing in it. I've tried writing in it with a Visconti with some pretty good ink. And as you can see, there is no bleed through. It does show, but that's minimal. And the nice thing is, there's nothing else nasty about it at all because this paper, folks, is Tomo River. Now, they're going to be moving on from Tomo River to some American sourced paper, but the lady who owns this company is incredibly keen to make sure that whatever happens, they have good quality paper for fountain pen users. So don't be too alarmed. What else can I say? Well, I think it's brilliantly presented. I really like as I say, the colour. I like the other designs they have. They have one, for example, that's a picture of a Greek helmet like Achilles on the front. They've got a number of different types of designs that you can have. It's always a little bit problematic when you're English and you're talking about an American company because how do you get things sent to you from America? And the simple answer is now you go to Nero's Notes because they are taking on a distributorship around Europe. That's going to make life a lot easier. But the main thing for me is, if you like larger size notebooks, and I do because I like mind mapping and planning on bigger sheets of paper. These aren't the biggest. I actually use A3 notebooks, sketchbooks, for some of my bigger plans. But this is as practical in terms of size. Yes, it's a bit smaller, but actually I think it's still as practical. It'll fit into a slightly smaller bag which is useful. I've got a slightly smaller bag. This fits. And with the Tomo River paper or whatever they're going to be coming up with, I think this is a really useful size, a really practical design. I love the fact that it's got the closure, it's got the bookmarks, it's got the page numbering, it has superb paper. It really has got everything, I think, to make a, work, a working notebook for me absolutely ideal. So here you can see a couple of pieces of writing just to show what they look like. First of all we've got Blue Ma from Rora und Klingner and then underneath might be, I'm not absolutely certain, it might well be Earl Grey from Diamine. I can't remember what it is, isn't that appalling? Turning the page, as you can see there's no bleed through, no nastiness, it's just superb paper. Now, I can't recommend these highly enough. They are the best notebooks I've discovered since I was sent this paper for fountain pens notebook. And, you know, what would you expect? It's Tomo River paper. It is extremely good. But trying to find a good company to work with that's actually going to be helpful, that's always interesting. The more people who order these from this rather delightful company, Odyssey Notebooks, 
then the more likely it is they'll keep going and they'll be able to keep supplying. And I think that's a really worthwhile firm to support. So if you're in the market for larger size notebooks, if you like the idea of dot grid, line, whatever, look up the company, the link's down the bottom, and see if you'd like to try out one, one or two of their notebooks. I personally would highly recommend them on the basis of this one. I have to say thanks ever so much to Rainbow at Odyssey Notebooks for sending this through to me. It's not something I purchased, it's something she sent as a review copy. And I have been, so far, very, very delighted with it. And in fact, I'm so pleased with it, this is going to be used as of today to start plotting book eight of the Bloody Mary series. And then it's going straight on to, book, to start writing the amendments and the corrections to the very first book, which is currently known as Untitled Book One Artist Series, which is going to be coming out next April. Isn't that exciting? So, thanks very much for, for watching. I hope that was all fun. Do please let me know if you've got any questions. If you've got any recommendations or suggestions about other people I ought to be talking to, drop them down the bottom and I'll certainly have a go at looking at them. And apart from that, until next time, thanks a lot for watching and I'll speak to you soon. And now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. I've left my cup outside. Hey ho.